Hi guys, VST here with SP Tech. Today I want to do a video about Wi-Fi. Yes, you got it correctly, Wi-Fi. Wireless internet, wireless network. All right guys, I'm going to be very much straight to the point and without any further ado, I will put the business case on the topic which is describing the situation of sick that I have experienced and I will let you know guys how I solve this issue. So here you might be wondering why do I have this Motorola Hubble camera on the video as well and I will let you know because this is really part of the business case or the situation of sickness. Two weeks ago I had to change the channel of my Wi-Fi searching for a more optimized channel where I can get better bandwidth and no interference from the Wi-Fi from my neighbors. So I did that and I did not notice that this camera from Motorola stopped working guys. So I said to myself, okay, what the hell is going on? I had to do some research there. I thought that the camera was broken until I realized that I have changed the wireless on my 2G network to the channel number 13, which of course was a channel not used by a lot of my neighbors so that apparently I can get better signal and better bandwidth and etc. But apparently this camera cannot connect to channel 13. And that is why guys today, I wanna bring you an application called the Wi-Fi Analyzer, which I think is one of the best applications out there and it's a must on your phone, especially when you wanna set up new access points, you know, new routers, even connect some smart home appliances. So this application is really a must. That is why presenting to you the Wi-Fi Analyzer. And before we start, I just wanna share with you guys, there are tons of applications on the Play Store which claim to analyze Wi-Fi. Most of them are not that good. This one, the Wi-Fi Analyzer by Abdel Rahman MC with the score of 407 is the best out there. And let me just show you guys what it does. So I've installed the application, granted all of the XX. Okay, so when you open it guys, you're gonna see something like this. You have to wait for some seconds so that the application is able to scan your environment. And then what you're gonna see is actually, you know, all your networks with the networks from your neighbors. So you can really judge, okay, where should I put my Wi-Fi? Which channel should I use where I don't have a lot of the neighborhood, the neighborhood routers, you know, boosting on the same channel. So probably that's not a good idea for me. And right now guys, I wanna show you, I have changed the router from channel number 13 to channel number eight because this thing cannot connect to number 13. And just look right now where my signal is. I'm using the same channel as apparently three other neighborhood networks and that's not very good guys. And actually you can just see, this has been now running on my 2G network but I have also a 5G network. So let's see what the situation is on the 5G network. Then the graph will change and right now you can see pretty much nobody is using a 5G network from my neighbors and that is actually quite good guys because I am connecting all my home appliances that don't require a lot of bandwidth and etc and a lot of speed to my 2G network and then I am connecting all my like regular devices that support the 5G of course or Wi-Fi AC to my 5G network guys. But going back to the 2G network so you can see it's a lot of crowded there. I will not tell you of what it reminds myself but anyway what is very important guys when you go here and tap the stars menu you can just see that there is apparently a rating given for all the channels right now i have put my 2g network to the channel number eight which you see has a very bad rating meaning that a lot of other neighbors are using the same channel for the 2g network which means that this channel has a lot of interference and it means that you know your speed is going to be kept you're not going to probably to get the full bandwidth and actually what i actually quite like it does tell you best channels for a new access point so either use channel 1 2 6 or 13 guys and that's actually quite good because with the wi-fi analyzer it can give you tips to use some channels that are not so utilized and that's why i recommend you guys install this application it's a very good one you can use it it will help you it has also some further settings by the way here you can see also in decibels the signal strength because you know people that the 2g is a little bit limited in terms of speed compared to the 5g wi-fi but it has better signal rates the 5g network is usually slowed down by walls and etc 2G network, not so much guys. So very important guys, channel graph, you have four menus. First one, like I said, it's very good because it gives you kind of an idea, you know, where you are compared to the others. Then the second menu, you can also see the same, you know, in terms of speed and decibels, right? So you need to wait a little bit for all the graphs to refresh. Like see here, you see all the speeds and all the signals are here. And then for me, the best menu is this one that it will give you a rating and a recommendation to where to connect your new access point or even the existing one to where to change it, guys. So again, 
this is the Wi-Fi analyzer guys and I do believe it's a very important app again it's a must for everybody smartphone apparently if you have smart appliances like I have the Xiaomi Mi Air Purifier I have smart lights from uh, IKEA from Xiaomi we have plenty of things at home that require Wi-Fi signal so this application is the best one you can of course stop all the activity there and of course there is a pro version which will get you rid of the ads it will provide some wi-fi diagnostics some advanced settings even without the pro version you pretty much will cover with this one all right guys very quickly this was venia's fish tech thank you very much for watching the video if you like it you know what to do vst over